most remote northern desert. The Gabra inhabit the arid lands that stretch northwards from Mount Marsabit to the Ethiopian border, including the inhospitable Dida Galgalo, the plains of darkness. Gabra numbers fewer than 40,000 people and have survived centuries of hardship and drought. Camels are used to transport their portable homes, consisting of a bundle of calf sticks and a few mats across the unrelenting wasteland viewed from the distance. All right. Here we go, and uh, we have just stepped in uh, the Marsabit County, and as you know, Marsabit is the largest, the largest uh, uh, county, and covering approximately 66,959 square kilometers, and it is the largest, uh, the largest uh, county, and uh, its uh, capital as Moyale, meaning is the the leading or the largest uh, county in the entire the entire country. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Kenya's remote northern desert. The rugged mountains and parched plains of Kenya's red north comprise nearly three quarters. Red North still retains its frontier ambience. The dusty single street towns are connected by sandy roads that cross the arid and desolate plains dotted with stunted acacia bushes. Small band of handy pastoralists struggle to survive was known as the Northern Frontier Districts, or NFD. In this Bahrain region, where rainfall rarely exceeds 500 millimeters, while evaporation can exceed as much as 2,600 millimeters. Camels, caravans still cross Kenya's Red North. In the past, this region was known as the North Frontier District, or NFD, and was seen as a land of adventure, hardship, and danger. The Bahrain North is a region of erratic rainfall and extreme temperatures. Its habitants belong largely to the Kashitic groups that inhabit Ethiopia and Somalia. Those nomadic pastoralists rely on an estimated 800,000 camels for transport and for milk. All right, 
Here we go. Uh, now we have just stepped in uh, the Marsabit County. And as you know, Marsabit is the largest, largest uh, uh, county and covering approximately 66,959 square kilometers. And this is the largest, the largest uh, county and uh, its uh, capital as Moyale, meaning it's the, the leading or the largest uh, county in the entire, the entire country. So here we are now, you can see the animal, this is a camel have been taken to the next destination. And here we are, look at the spectacular view of the place and the local ingredients, they are taking their camels, they're gonna sell it off. They have no idea, but it is what it is. And Kaju, I think this is the Marsabit County, the largest in terms of surface, covered 66,956 square miles of the surface of this great nation. Here we are, we made it. Yeah? Yeah, we are almost there. Almost there, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. See the you scenery of the camels, and you can literally tell you that we are now approaching the really desert, the really harsh, harsh. And here we go. We have to let us hit the road and tell, show you the spectacular. What should I say? In the north consists predominantly of scattered acacia and comifora bushes. A sparse covering of grass sometimes grows between the bushes but during period of prolonged drought grass may be absent for years. An estimate 72% of Kenya received less than 500 millimeters of rain per annum. Evaporation in this region can exceed 2,600 millimeters. In some areas of this barren zone, rainfall is often limited to less than 300 millimeters near Lake Turkana. Volcanic activity has produced a wasteland of black love rocks. Welcome to the show. This is a Overland Adventure Travel Show. This is update of the road frequently traveled. And here we are. This is a Marsabit Road through uh, Muyale through Marsabit Road. And remember, this is A2 Road. If you still have a great memory about the previous videos, episodes of uh, the trip from Malaba to uh, Lokijokyo border point, that was A1 Road. Now this is A2 Road. Those are the main highway of this great nation which is Kenya and here right now let's see an update of the road the frequent travel from this point here to Barsabit we're gonna hit the road to at least cover 246 kilometers it's a cup of tea we can make it and what about Muyale? Muyale is around that little stretch road and really the, the road is spectacular look at it spectacular dead straight road I like it I, I just love it fantastic and I'm looking at maybe that is the iconic mountain in this Isholo that's many mountains, but out of many, is one is a really rocky mountain. It symbolizes the iconic mountain of the region. And here we are. This is de Colomb. We have hit it. They nailed down. Yeah, our viewers, we are tightening our nuts. Because we are hitting the, the, uh, the, hard, the hard end of the, uh, of, uh, the notorious. Of, of, of the segment number two. Uh, because we have our uncles who uh, are not very simple. But... So we are bolting ourselves. But <coughs> we'll keep you posted. <coughs> so far, we are moving. You're gonna make it. Just a brief one. Let us hit the road and then. Uh, have you? Uh, have you? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me keep going, man. Catch up.
Kenya's remote northern desert, the rugged mountains and parched plains of Kenya's wide north comprise nearly three quarters of the country. This barren region where rainfall rarely exceeds 500 millimeters, while evaporation can exceed as much as 2600 millimeters. Pastorally struggle to survive. Once known as the Northern Frontier District or NFD. Red North still retains its frontier ambience. The arid and desolate plains dotted with stunted acacia bush. In the heart of this region, the sea green waters can appear like a mirage. The largest lake in the world. Turkana is fed by rivers flowing off the Ethiopian highland located on the flow of the Rift Valley. lake has no access to the sea, but the presence of the Nile patch suggests an ancient link with the Nile. And volcanic eruption has caused its waters to become alkaline. Camel caravan crossed Kenya's Red North. In the past, this region was known as the North Frontier District or NFD. And was seen as a land of adventure, hardship, and danger. that was fueled by several years by shifter rebels from Somalia the Bahrain North is the region of erratic rainfall and extreme temperature stay tuned And remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.